Hey, my name is Sergeant First Class Jake Brown. I am the gold team leader for the United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. What we usually do when we get to a show site, we'll go over and we'll rehearse what we're actually going to do in the sky, and we call that a dirt dive. Stand by. Stand by. And go. Okay, ready, ready set, go. We have a, a base or a formation that is the nucleus. We'll go out, we'll rehearse and try to figure out where we need to be and what altitude we need to close in depending on the weather. Once we figured out where each person needs to be in the actual dive, then we'll go inside the aircraft and do a rehearsal where each person has a designated position in the door of the aircraft. Ready, set, go! Golden Knight, we travel around the country about 270 to 300 days a year. This is a special duty assignment. NCOs are picked or hand picked for this job for about a three year duty assignment. Each one of the guys, after we rehearse our dirt dive, go over in their mind what they're actually going to do in the air because one person, if he were to make a mistake, it would make everybody look bad. And I think that's what is probably the most intense thing about this team. Each person wants to make sure he does his job properly so our show goes off without any type of complications. Um, as we fly around, obviously these guys are a little concerned about where we get out. They're, they always uh, seem to place a lot of confidence in me uh, as far as you know picking the spot where we should get out in order to land back here on a target. Um, there's a great deal of trust and, and confidence and concentration in this arena. What we like to do, we call it a mass exit, where we'll put like eight, maybe nine guys out at one time and perform some type of geometrical formation. We'll hold it to a pre-designated altitude then we'll break that formation and streak off to all four points of the compass, uh, thus creating a bomb burst effect. The spectators really enjoy seeing how a body can actually fly through the sky using a smoke canister as a tracer, so to speak. I've just received a standby command indicating that all the jumpers have moved to the rear of the aircraft and are preparing to exit the airplane. Simultaneously, these jumpers will exit the aircraft. The jumpers are out and the smoke is on. We now have members of the gold demonstration team rapidly approaching speeds of 120 miles an hour. Their hands, arms, shoulders, and legs act as flight controls as they maneuver their bodies and set up in the wide formation. At 5,000 feet, the jumpers will initiate a bomb burst maneuver, streaking to the three points of the compass and deploying their main black and gold canopies. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the high-flying black and gold of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. As you may have guessed, our jumpers are now faced with a traffic jam in the sky. In order for each of our jumpers to have his own approach onto our X-shaped target here at Show Center, they will use a technique known as spiraling. The jumpers will reach up on the front portion of their canopy, known as the riser, pull it to their chest. This will allow them to lose altitude at a much faster rate. Speeds in excess of 60 miles an hour can be attained. Our top two jumpers, doing what we call canopy relative work. They've actually run their canopies into one another in a controlled collision. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for these two jumpers. Smoke still burning, the side-by-side -side maneuver. The parachutes used by the Army Parachute Team are flexible wing gliders. They are constructed of a lightweight ripstop nylon material and they have an inherent forward speed of 22 miles per hour. To turn left, the jumper will pull down on the left steering line. To turn right, the jumper simply pulls down on the right steering line. As all of the jumpers near the ground, they will pull down on both steering lines simultaneously, firing their parachutes for the safest and softest possible landing. To jumpers near the ground, they will first find a thin wind streamer located in the target area. Once on final approach, they will then shift all their attention to a small black dot located in the center of the orange X. We focus on that little dot in the center of that target because our job is to land on that X. Uh, that's our reputation, that's what we do for a living, that's what we pride ourselves on. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the gold demonstration team for 1999. Members of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. I'm Sergeant John Seaman with the U.S. Army Parachute Team, the Gold Demonstration Team. 
The best part of the job is performing for the spectators out here, especially for the kids. It's great to be a role model. I mean, there's there's a lot of good role models out there, but uh, there could be a lot more. And uh, you'll see that you'll see the fans, the kids come out as soon as we leave the crowd line and we come over here. Uh, they'll be running over, ready to sign some autographs, help us pack the parachutes. I had Tim right here uh, help me pack it up, and uh, it'll be ready for the next jump.